Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well today. In this video, we're going to talk about the DIG token, which is an elastic currency designed to peg to the price of Bitcoin. And it maintains this peg by a logarithmically expanding and contracting based on what the price of the token is. So in that sense, that's a lot like Ampleforth, except in this case, the peg is to Bitcoin rather than the US dollar. And if you recall, in the summer of 2020, Ampleforth had a massive expansionary cycle. We may not get the same type of return with the dig token but i definitely think there's some opportunity here so in this video i'm going to give you guys a brief introduction and show you guys how to get started and if you guys have any questions after watching this video or maybe you just wanted to connect with like-minded individuals i encourage you guys to check out my discord channel it's a great forum for you guys to share thoughts and insights and also consider checking out my free newsletter i remember telling my community about this opportunity back in december when the badger token was launched with a handful of vault strategies but i personally know of people people that have made 700% returns since they first started investing in the platform. And on Saturdays, I send out a newsletter where I share interest rate updates across multiple lending platforms. And I occasionally cover yield farming opportunities on a DeFi platforms. Whether you want to join my Discord channel or maybe you want to sign up for my free newsletter, all the relevant links can be found in the description below. With the introduction of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this video. All right, in this segment, I'm gonna show you guys how to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously come over to the website, app.badger.finance. If you were eligible for the airdrop, you would have been able to claim your dig here. The first thing you guys should do is obviously connect your wallet, and then you guys gotta decide which vault you guys wanna put your tokens in. All the yields on the respective vaults have been juiced up with dig tokens, which means in addition to your vault strategy reward and your badger reward, you're also gonna be given dig tokens. But the pools that are going to give you the largest yield paid out in the dig token are going to be the pools that are paired with the dig token like the pool here on uniswap and the pool here on sushi swap which is wptc slash dig and lastly you have the dig token vault itself which basically auto compounds the dig tokens that you yield and if you compare the yield here, it's about 550% on DIG. And down here for this uni pool, you have 861%. I think there's a potential for this to outperform the other two. If DIG, like Ampleforth, goes through a massive expansionary cycle, we might see DIG trade multiples higher than its peg. And Bitcoin at the moment is trading around $32,000. As I'm recording this video, DIG is already up two times its peg. And if you take a look at Ampleforth, it's traded up to four times its peg, which means that it's plausible that DIG trades at $100,000 plus. In that scenario, again, I think there's some potential that this vault here may outperform the other two. Now, whether you got your DIG tokens via an airdrop or maybe you bought them off the market, you'll have to deposit that token in one of the three DIG centric vaults. The first vault is very easy. You simply click here on 100%, click deposit, confirm the transaction and your dig tokens will auto compound meaning that anything you gain from the yield that's displayed here will automatically go back into this vault for the other two vaults if you wanted to provide liquidity there's two ways to do it to the left here you click on airdrops and you can decide whether you want to provide liquidity on uniswap or if you want to provide liquidity on sushi swap but before we head over to uniswap or sushi swap let's take a look at the yield breakdown this here is the sushi swap pool and you can see that about 600% of the yield comes from the pool itself, 7% comes from XSushi, and 500% comes from the DIG token. By the way, once you start providing liquidity and earning rewards, any rewards that you earn via the DIG token and the Badger token will be displayed up here. And unlike this strategy here, you'll have to manually claim them and put them back into the vault if you want to compound your interest. Now that we know what the yield looks like for the sushi swap pool, let's take a look at the yield on the Uniswap pool. You can see here you're getting about 500% just from the pool itself, and you're getting 850% via the DIG token. So before you guys pick a pool, make sure you guys compare the APYs and figure out which pool is most in line with your preferences. Once you've figured out which pool you want to provide liquidity to, click here on airdrops, and then select the pool that you want to provide liquidity to. We're going to go ahead and select the Uniswap pool. You'll be directed to this page here. 
and on the upper right hand corner click on add liquidity and so to provide liquidity you'll have to add an equal portion of WPTC and DIG tokens to the pool you basically approve the transaction and in return you're going to be given an LP token you take that LP token you come over here to Badger DAO then you go ahead and click on the Uniswap pool so then what you want to do is you want to stake 100% of your LP token into the vault. That's going to make you eligible for the 500%. And to get the second 100%, this is where a lot of people mess up. You have to click here on stake and deposit the B uni token that you got in return for making your LP deposit into this vault here. And you do the same thing. You click 100% and you click stake. And by completing that last step, you'll be eligible for the 862% yield. Now, an easier way to do this would be to come over here to zapper.fi, click here on pool, and in the search field, type in dig. It'll populate the two pools, the sushi swap pool and the Uniswap pool. Select the pool that you want to add liquidity to, click on add liquidity here to the right. And the nice thing about using zapper.fi is that, let's say you have the dig token, you just click here on max and it'll automatically split the token in the two pools and give you the LP token. Also, if you don't have any dig and you want to participate in this opportunity, you can choose from any of the currencies that they support. For example, I can click here on ETH, then click here on max, confirm the transaction and I'll receive the LP token associated with this pool. And once you receive the LP token, you just repeat the steps that I outlined early in the video by clicking here, depositing your LP token, taking your Badger LP token and staking it here. Now, before I let you guys go in this last segment, I just wanted to let you guys know what you guys should focus on when you guys are dealing with rebasing currencies. If you look at the chart of Ampleforth and let's compare the price chart with the market cap chart. Since the currency is designed to expand and contract, we shouldn't really focus on its dollar value. We need to focus on the market cap. And by the way, if you're into trading Elliott patterns, hint, hint, this is definitely something you guys should look at. But generally speaking, it's something that everybody should focus on. It was sitting at roughly 8 million. And during the peak, it almost hit 800 million. So if you bought the Ample token, it oscillated between a dollar and four dollars. But the total dollar value that you held in your wallet could have gone up up to 100x in this time frame here. Because even though the dollar value didn't go more than four bucks, the token itself went through this massive expansionary cycle, which means that every day you were getting more and more Ample Forth tokens. And I would argue that the same logic applies to the DIG token itself. Since the launch, the market cap itself hasn't gone up very much. And you couple that with the fact that almost 90% of the circulating supply of the DIG token or the DIG LPs has been deposited into the Badger DAO app. One could argue that there's significant upside potential in the token. And remember, it's designed to be pegged to the price of Bitcoin and it's currently trading twice the price of Bitcoin. Now, I want to keep this video short, so I'll end it here. But if you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts and insights and you guys wanted me to do more videos on the DIG token, make sure you guys express that in the comment section below. And if you guys needed more guidance or assistance or maybe you wanted to be part of my inner circle, Make sure you guys check out my Patreon page. Even if you joined a lower tier of $20, you'll get access to my private Discord channel. You'll get a free subscription to the paid version of my newsletter. And if you decide to join one of the higher tiers, you can even have one-on-one -on -one dialogue with me. Well, that pretty much wraps things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Crypto One Step signing up. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye.